Hi everyone, Simon here. Masquerade, you wanted me to continue? Okay, let's do it. Check back on the former three videos for the story so far. Craig, we left it. Two week holiday, week had already gone. Nit had been with her golden egg, golden goose, foreign boyfriend who was sending her money, visiting over into Thailand three or four times a year spending with her in Phuket at a five-star resort and treating her like a queen. So a week had gone by, she'd contacted him and said she's back at the bar, would he like to go away with her? And of course, he's come from the hotel, running around to the bar and she bound across the bar to him, swung her up, thrown her arms around him. Big hug as if she hadn't seen him forever. What was he thinking about? Come on. There's plenty of girls in the entertainment zones in Thailand, more girls than customers. Why would he knowingly go with a girl that had another guy, that had even shouted at him and sworn at him when he confronted her with the other guy. She dumped him in Krabby and given him a story about mother being ill that previously she said she didn't have a mother and she went off to the guy in Phuket. What on earth is possessing him? Why do guys do it? Why share a girl? He can't compete with the other guy money-wise for sure he's a lorry driver from Ireland he's a couple of years older than her she's about what 38 40 now um, he's a single guy he could pretty much have any a lot of girls many many girls but for some reason he's hooked on knit what is it about her is it her looks is it just her behavior the fact she's bubbly She's a professional girl. She knows every button to press. She's looking at Craig for every day he spends with her. It's going to be a thousand baht. And this is, you know, 15 years ago, 14 years ago. A thousand baht a day, which was like the going rate back then. Plus he'd give her food, maybe clothes and presents. You never know. She might get the, the gem, the gold that most girls like. Uh... Anyway, there they are in the bar, and he straight away says to her, let's go to Bangkok. <clears throat> I've only got a week left. I want to see if I can get to know you better. <laughs> but this time, I don't want to pay your bar fund. I've already paid it, and you only spent a day and a half with me, and you left me. I sort of took her back a bit, but calculation, she worked out exchange rates, cost, all the rest of it. She went and chatted to the Mamasan, came back and said, yeah, no problem, you don't have to pay the bar fine for this week. What she's probably done is she's gonna pay it herself. She says, I need to go back to the room, get some clothes. Um, I'll meet you at your hotel. You're at the same hotel, yes, yes. And finishes his drink, ran to the hotel. He'd already paid for a week and he was doing it on a daily rate because he wasn't sure he was going to stay in Pasea. Um So he checked out, all sorted, paid the bill. She turned up literally 15 minutes later with a bag, like a hold all. And uh, then they went up Soy 7 or Soy 8 and found there's a little shop there, there's taxis. Quite often there's taxis lying around at the second row, but they found a taxi through this little company and uh, got a taxi up to Bangkok. Now, Craig had never really spent time in Bangkok. He'd been to Thailand seven or eight times. He'd once gone into Bangkok with a friend and had one night in Bangkok. But he'd never really be, he'd always gone to Patea. He 
he didn't know where they were going to stay and he said to Nick in Bangkok he'd like to see the the bar areas he'd love to visit Nana Plaza he'd heard about it maybe Soy Cowboy maybe Pat Pong and but didn't know where to stay now Nit, the last thing she wants is to take him around those entertainment zones with the fear of him meeting a better girl, falling in love with another woman and losing him but she knows she's got no real choice here she's going to have to play it cool but I'm sure she can orchestrate everywhere they go in a calculating method her idea going to Bangkok really is to get as much out of him as she can whether it's clothes money jewelry she's a professional girl she knows what she's doing the reason she's with Craig is because there's not many customers about at the moment and he's a guaranteed thousand baht a day plus she says to him let's go to she knew Pratanam market is clothes Opposite Pantit Plaza, there's a hotel. Used to be, I don't think it's there now. It used to be called the First Hotel. I've stayed as well many times there. Um, she said, there's a hotel. It's only a short taxi ride from the Nana Plaza and places. And it's quite nice, it's three star. It's got a couple of swimming pools. So he said, brilliant. So taxi, off they went. Get to the First Hotel, pay the taxi walk in they've got a new section building and an old building all the rooms are pretty much the same it's about 1200 baht a night and he he says let's just get a couple of nights see what the hotel's like um take it from there so paid for a couple of nights or just checked in anyway 1200 baht a night went up to the room threw all their stuff in the room and quick shower change both hungry it's after midday, it's you know one, two o'clock. Took about an hour and a half to get to Bangkok with the traffic. So they head out of the hotel. He's got shorts and a t-shirt on, sunglasses. She's similar dressed. She knows there's lots of street food around the corner by the market, by Preston Market, and she heads straight there with him. He eats Thai food, um, not everything, but quite a bit. There's also a Burger King there on the corner and a McDonald's or KFC across the road at Pantit Plaza. So she offers him those, but he's like, no, no, I'll do street food. And uh, he wanted some noodles, so went into one of the side streets, saw 17 or 19, and uh, had some food. She quizzed him a bit more about what they're going to do in the evening, and he said, I'd really like to go to Nana. She said, what? I didn't really bring clothes appropriate for that sort of venue. If we go there, I don't really want to people to look at me as if I'm a bar girl. I want to look like I'm your girlfriend, which was a fair comment. And he understood that and he said, yeah. And how lucky was it that they're sat in the middle of Pressnam Market? Lots of shopping malls right next door with air con. And yeah, she'd orchestrated that. She said, let's go into these clothing areas and see if we can find some clothes for me. Yeah. Hour, hour and a half wandering around. She picked out a nice dress, about a thousand bar, and he bought it. And she got another t-shirt, I think. Uh, and they headed back to the hotel. He wanted a swim, wanted a beer. So, grabbed the stuff out of the room, went up to the one pool. There was two pools there, I think, one up and one down. Lower. Had a few beers, swim. She had her costume. It was the same costume he'd bought her in Krabby, I think. Had a swim together. Uh, then back to the room for an afternoon siesta, relaxation. Get to know each other a bit better again. She was very attentive she knew what she was doing pressing all the buttons a nice time was had and then they sleep for a couple of hours eight o'clock ish they get up shower and 
Craig says, I want to go to Nana Plaza. She says, okay. We'll go there first and then get some food after. So, down they go outside. There's always taxis outside that hotel. Jump in a taxi, 100 bar, uh, around to Nana, pulled into Soy 4 area. Craig was like a child. His eyes were popping out of his head. He had never seen anything like just the road so he fought outside Nana, opposite the Nana Hotel, Nana Plaza. Pointed to a bar which was right outside Nana Plaza entrance. They went up and they sat at the front, perched at the front of the bar, watching everything in the road, people watching. He was, I was just amazed at it, absolutely amazed. She was not really that happy because she was dressed up nice, and there's all these beautiful women around and they're all a threat to her. So she knew she had to keep him moving. So they had a drink and then she said, let's go into Nana upstairs to a go-go, I'll show you a go-go bar. Took him into Nana Plaza up to a second floor, I think Rainbow 2 possibly. Went in and go-go bar. They had a glass panel on the left in the back wall with showers in there where girls were taking showers. There was no sort of shows on in this go-go. I think this knew already there was no shows at this one, but there was like the shower show. Again, he was amazed. It was different to what he'd seen in Patea. Nit made sure she had her hand or arm around him all the time, so everyone knew he was taken. They stayed in there, had a drink, and then Nit said, I'm hungry. She didn't want to take him on more bars or further down Soy Fort or any, uh, anywhere else to be honest with near a bar and girls. And he's like, okay, yeah, I'm hungry. This was, what was 12, 13, 14 years ago. And back then, there was a place called Suwan Lum Night Plaza. It was a stage with free live music, a seating area in front, tables and chairs where you can get beer brought to you, and then there was food sold all the way around the outside of the chairs, the tables. They got their taxi, got a load of food, got some beer, listened to the live music. It was romantic, it was perfect. He loved it, it was great, got everything. And there were some beautiful girls on stage singing. So they stayed there for the evening, a few hours there, had a great time. There was a load of shops for tourists and things to one side, but he wasn't into that. And uh, they called it a night, head back to the hotel. Another interesting night. Nit had totally calculated that first day and evening, exactly pressing all the buttons. He was falling for her. He'd really forgotten about this other guy. He wasn't thinking about this other guy. He wasn't thinking about Patea or anything. He wasn't thinking about the past. Where is his head? He's just got blinkers on and forgetting everything that's happened. Again, so many girls available. Why share a girl? He should be interrogating her about, you know, the mother. The so-called that she didn't have a mother. She ran off to the mother. When she was in Krabi, in fact, she went off to the other guy. Is there a mother, the family? He should be asking all those questions. But he shouldn't even be there. But he's fallen for her. He's there. What can you say? What can you say? We all have met somebody like this that is in this scenario. Next episode, maybe a bit of a twist for you. I'll see you then. Have a good day. Bye for now.